I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions on integration. So this one here is we need to integrate dx over x to the power of 4 minus x squared. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well this is a rational function so we should try partial fractions. So let me just factor the denominator. Uh, we could write this as integral of dx over if I take x squared common we get x squared minus 1 and this could also be written as integral of dx over x squared times x plus 1 times x minus 1 correct so what this we could get par four partial factors right so we could write this as uh, now let's solve this I mean the the rational function part right so and write this as uh, what we have here is we have 1 over uh, x squared times x plus 1 times x minus 1. We'll write this as sum of 4 fractions. All right? So a over x plus uh, b over x squared plus these two components which is x plus 1 and d over x minus 1. If I multiply everything by this denominator, we get 1 is equals to a times, already we have x, so we have to multiply this by x times x squared minus 1, plus with b, we have to multiply by these two products, which is x squared minus 1, plus with c, we have x plus 1, we need x squared, times x minus 1, and with d, uh, we have to multiply these two, right? So x squared, x plus 1. Now there are many techniques of finding solutions now after this stage. What I prefer is to substitute values which can make most of these factors 0, one of them non-zero to find the coefficient, right? So that is the strategy. Now if I substitute x equals to 0, for example, then these three terms will be 0, right? So we can begin by substituting uh, x equals to 0. So if I substitute x equals to 0, in that case, this is 0, this is 0, and this is 0, right? So what am I left with? I'm left with this term, correct? This is 0, so I get 1 equals to b, and this is 0, so we get 1 equals to minus b, and that gives us b equals to minus 1. So we get the value of b as minus 1. So let me highlight this one, right? So we have one result here. Now, how about substituting x equals to plus 1? In that case, these three will be 0, right? So if I substitute x equals to plus 1, then what happens? This will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 0 not that one. So we get 1 equals 2. So we get 1 equals 2 plus 1. So this is 1. So 2d, right? 2d. And that gives you d is equals to half. Right. So we get another result here. d is equals to half. Okay. Now, what else? We could substitute x as minus 1. If I do x as minus 1, in that case, what happens? Well, these three become zero. So let's try that. So we have x equals to minus one. So this becomes zero. Minus one squared is positive. This becomes zero. This becomes not zero, but this is zero. So we can find c now, right? So, so we have, uh, this means one equals to minus one will give me minus two here. And that is plus one. So minus two c, right? And that means uh, c is equals to minus half, right? So we get the value of c also, which is minus half. Now we need to find the value of a. How do we find value of a? So the idea here is a will get x cubed terms. So we are looking for x cubed coefficients. So we are looking for x cubed coefficients. It is 0 on this side. Perfect. So we can write 0 equals to ax cube, which is a, right? Then here, if you multiply these, let me highlight what I'm trying to say here is this term, right? 
this term. No, not this one, not this one. This one, is it okay? And this is also x cube term, right? Not this one, okay. So ax cube, cx cube, so plus c, and dx cube, that means plus d. So all this, I mean d, right? All this sum is zero. We know c and d, right? So a is equals to minus c minus d. We can substitute the values of minus c. Minus c is minus of half, which is half. Minus d, d is half, and that gives you zero. So that means a is equals to zero. So we get the value of a also, right, which is zero. Okay. So now we can write our integral as sum of partial fractions. So we could write now the question here is integral of a is zero. So we get b over, b is minus one. So we get minus one over x square. c is minus half. So we get minus half. And we have x plus 1 here, okay. And d is plus half, so we get plus half. And then we have here 1 over x minus 1 dx. Is that okay? So this is what we get. Now that could be integrated very easily. ln function will do this job. And this is x to the power of minus 2, right? So which will give you... Uh, x to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1. So it is 1 over x, correct? So that should give you 1 over x. Okay, and so we are in a position to integrate this. Let's do it. So we could write this as equal to, if you want, you can uh, write as different sums, right? So, so we could write this as uh, integral of, let's add one step, okay? So minus x to the power of minus 2 dx. This is the first one. The other one is minus half integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx. And then we have plus half integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx. Is that okay? Now we'll write down the solution for this. And here if I add power, you get minus 1 divided by minus 1. That makes this positive, right? So we have 1 over x from the first one. Now here we have minus half ln absolute value of x plus 1 and then we have plus half ln absolute value of x minus 1 plus c right now you can combine these terms you can write this as 1 over x minus uh, better to write plus right so we'll take this first half and within brackets I could write ln x minus 1 minus ln x plus 1 now you can combine these terms and write down your answer, which is 1 over x plus half ln, and this is x minus 1 over x plus 1, right, plus c. So that is your result for the given question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions, and if you like, you can put some likes. Thank you and all the best.